the win and judge in the manager's report. Yeah, a lot of people doing a lot of really good things, you know. Um, <clears throat> you know, just kind of scratching and crawling. Felt like we were chasing all night. Um, you know, they kept having good at bats. They kept having chances. You know, we didn't come through in a couple spots, but we kept putting guys out there. Um, you know, and, and then some, you know, great winning at bats there. Talkman to, to, you know, get on base with the walk and steal second and then DJ doing DJ and then Judge, you got to pitch ahead in the count and, and uh, finished it off. But and a, and a good job by the pen coming in and, you know, hold them down enough. I thought King was good. Uh, just a lot of a lot of good things that happened tonight for and people contributing to a big win during the game. Um... You said about Judge, he's still working to get totally locked in. I'd hate to see it when he does get totally locked in because it's it's kind of scary right now. I mean, he's look, man. He's he's. I, I really think he's on a mission right now. And um, you know, when he got that clean bill of health, and right before summer camp started, and he started ramping up, um, there's just been an intensity level to his work, um, an energy level to the. To the work he's been able to do and uh you know he's he's just a great player that's you can tell feeling really good and i think continuing to actually get all the way locked in at the plate as far as uh paxton goes mm -hmm. you said you're still trying to get him mechanically unlocked to find the velocity it, how, how what is the level of concern because the velocity wasn't there once again tonight yeah um you know, first first thing is, I feel like I feel like he's healthy, and I feel like he feels he feels good. So I think he's frustrated that it's not coming out like he's capable of. Um, you know, I do think it's a little bit mechanically related, a little bit you know, unlocking him biokinetically and getting all those parts in sync that make him special. Um, you know. There's some good things to take away from night, tonight where, you know, where he is really searching for it. He was pounding the strike zone. You know, he, he made a lot of quality pitches. Um, you know, we just got to continue to work alongside to help him really find it. And I believe that it's in there. Do, do you think he needs that velocity to compete, Aaron? Well, I think, I mean, I thought he competed tonight. You know, I think he's he's scratching his head a little bit that it's not there, but, you know, a level more of velocity, sure, and then at, at a level where we're accustomed to seeing James Paxton, Paxton when he's dominant. So I think he can get back there. We just got to keep working to get there. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah. George King, go ahead. You have the next question. Aaron, was there uh, a problem with wind or a, a early evening sky? Because the, the two balls early in the game looked like they might have been caught in the outfield. Yeah. If you noticed... Uh, I didn't sometimes you can't feel the wind down there but we we look at that the American flag up on top of the right field bleachers and it was blowing out so I really noticed the ball carry the ball uh JD hit his last at bat that went to you know the warning track in left center field off of Adovino um it seemed like he got under that ball a little bit and almost carried out of the ballpark um and then the the ball that Pilar dropped in in right center there I think that the time of night you know, that's sometimes can be a challenge for outfielders, and I think Aaron didn't see it um, initially as well as, you know, he normally would. Um, but I think it had more to do with the sky. Thank you. Joel yeah. Sherman, go ahead and unmute. Aaron, when you say that uh, Judge is on a mission, what, what does that mean to you? You know, it's... <clears throat> I'm a little careful to say that because he's always got this edge and intensity about him. I just feel like, you know, after coming into spring training and, and not being able to start on time with the injury and then obviously having the layoff and, you know, when he got that clear bill of health a few weeks before summer camp started back up and he was able to ramp up and I think right away he felt like, I'm past this, I'm through this, I'm gonna be healthy, I'm gonna be okay in his mind. I think it, I just, I think it lit another fuse for him. And, you know, just seeing his work, um, the amount of work he's been able to do um, in getting ready for the season, um, you know, I. so 
I say he's on a mission, but he's always got the right level of intensity you want. But I just feel like he he feels like he's healthy, and after starting out not that way, I think he's 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 really locked in right now.